Hey there, gardening enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're embarking on a journey that's not only fascinating, but also revolutionary electroculture gardening. I'm thrilled to share this mind-blowing technique with you. If you're as excited as I am, remember to show your support by giving that thumbs up, sharing this video with your fellow gardeners, and subscribing along with the notification bell so you never miss out on any of our future revelations. All right, let's dive in. Imagine a world where your plants thrive beyond your wildest dreams, where their growth is supercharged by the magic of electromagnetic fields. Enter electroculture gardening, a cutting edge method that's transforming the way we nurture our green companions. But how does it work? Let's demystify the science. Plants, just like us, are sensitive to their environment. Electromagnetic fields stimulate biochemical reactions within them, triggering growth hormones and improving nutrient absorption. Think of it as giving your plants a power boost straight from nature's electrical grid. Now let's get practical. How do you electrify your garden? It's simpler than you might think. Assess your garden's layout. Understanding where to place electromagnetic devices is key. Consider frequency and intensity, the secret sauce for optimal plant response. The proof is in the harvest. Gardeners worldwide are witnessing incredible results with electroculture gardening. From faster growth to heightened resistance against pests, the success stories are pouring in. It's like the secret recipe to the garden of your dreams. Now, let's address the elephant in the garden cost. Creating your own electromagnetic devices doesn't have to drain your wallet. DIY options are abundant, making this innovative technique accessible to all. Remember, it's not just a cost, it's an investment in your garden's future. But wait, there's more. Electroculture isn't limited to traditional gardens, balcony gardeners, urban oasis creators, and indoor plant parents. This is for you too. The adaptability of this method knows no bounds. Here's where you come in. If electroculture gardening has you captivated, hit that like button to power up our community. Share this video far and wide. Let's spark conversations about the future of gardening. And of course, subscribe and ring that bell for electrifying updates from our channel. Beyond personal benefits, let's talk about the environment. Electroculture's potential for water conservation, reduced pesticide use, and healthier soils make it an eco-warrior's dream. By adopting this technique, you're not just nurturing plants, you're nurturing the planet. As we wrap up this electrifying journey, remember that electroculture gardening isn't just a trend. It's a movement towards a greener future. By tapping into the power of electromagnetic fields, we're discovering new ways to nurture our plants while honoring the environment. Tomatoes are notoriously sensitive to their environment, responding keenly to changes in light, temperature, and nutrients. Electroculture gardening introduces a new player to this equation, electromagnetic fields. By exposing tomato plants to carefully calibrated electromagnetic frequencies, we're potentially unlocking a new realm of growth, yield, and flavor. Tomatoes are heavy feeders, and getting the right nutrients to them can be a challenge. Electromagnetic fields have the potential to enhance nutrient uptake through the roots, ensuring that your tomato plants receive the vitamins and minerals they crave for optimal growth. Starting tomatoes from seeds? Electroculture might give your seedlings a head start. Some gardeners have reported accelerated germination rates when using electromagnetic fields. Imagine getting those vibrant green sprouts popping up even sooner than usual. Tomato blossoms hold the promise of delicious fruits and electroculture aims to maximize this potential. By stimulating hormone production and nutrient absorption, these electromagnetic fields could lead to more prolific blossoming and subsequently a higher yield of juicy tomatoes. Flavor the holy grail of tomato gardening. Electroculture proponents suggest that the increased nutrient absorption and balanced plant hormones might translate to tomatoes with richer flavors. Imagine savoring the depth of taste that only your garden fresh tomatoes can deliver. Tomatoes can be susceptible to various diseases, but what if electroculture could lend a helping hand? Some gardeners speculate that enhanced plant vitality from electromagnetic fields might bolster disease resistance, reducing the need for chemical interventions. Timing is crucial in electroculture for tomatoes. Different growth stages demand varying electromagnetic treatments. Experiment with applying fields during seedling development, flowering, and fruiting stages to uncover the timing that yields the best results. 
Tomatoes often benefit from companion plants that deter pests or enhance soil health. Integrating electroculture with companion planting could create a dynamic ecosystem where electromagnetic fields work synergistically with other plant interactions. As we wrap up this electrifying exploration of electroculture gardening for tomatoes, remember that experimentation is key. Tomatoes are unique, and their response to electromagnetic fields may surprise you. If you're excited about the potential of tomato electroculture, show your support by liking this video, sharing it with fellow gardeners, and subscribing with the notification bell activated. Digging deeper into the soil, we discover the intricate relationship between electroculture and soil microbes. Electromagnetic fields can stimulate beneficial microorganisms such as mycorrhizal fungi and nitrogen-fixing bacteria, creating a symbiotic partnership that contributes to nutrient cycling and overall soil health. The electromagnetic influence on plant genetics is a fascinating realm yet to be fully explored. Researchers are delving into the potential of electroculture to activate certain genes responsible for stress tolerance, growth promotion, and disease resistance, uncovering new avenues for crop improvement. Photosynthesis is the lifeblood of plants, and electroculture might have a role to play here, too. By optimizing the electromagnetic environment, we could potentially enhance the efficiency of photosynthesis, leading to greater energy production and subsequently healthier and more robust plants. Root exudates are compounds secreted by plant roots, influencing soil microbial communities and nutrient availability. Electromagnetic fields might impact the composition of root exudates, fostering a healthier microbial ecosystem that supports plant growth. Healthy soil is rich in nutrients, and electroculture has the potential to enhance nutrient cycling. As electromagnetic fields stimulate microbial activity, the breakdown of organic matter accelerates, releasing valuable nutrients that plants can readily absorb. With climate change's unpredictable impacts, gardening practices that enhance resilience are crucial. Electroculture's potential to boost plant vigor, stress tolerance, and nutrient uptake could contribute to creating more climate-resilient gardens and agricultural systems. Plants communicate in remarkable ways, and electroculture might amplify this communication network. Electromagnetic fields could potentially enhance the transmission of chemical signals among plants, enabling them to respond collectively to environmental changes and threats. As with any innovative practice, ethical considerations arise. It's essential to approach electroculture with a sense of responsibility, considering its potential impacts on plants, ecosystems, and long-term sustainability. The beauty of electroculture lies in its ongoing exploration. Researchers, hobbyists, and experts worldwide are contributing to the growing body of knowledge. Online platforms, conferences, and workshops provide opportunities to collaborate and exchange insights. Looking ahead, the future of electroculture gardening is both promising and enigmatic. As technology advances and scientific understanding deepens, we can anticipate more precise applications, innovative devices, and a deeper integration of electroculture within sustainable agriculture. Thanks for joining me today, and remember to hit that like button, share the knowledge, and subscribe along with the notification bell. Until next time, keep experimenting and keep growing. If you found this exploration into electroculture gardening exciting and informative, don't forget to show some love by giving us a thumbs up, sharing with your gardening comrades, and subscribing with the bell icon activated. Your support keeps us going, and we can't wait to see you in our next video. Happy gardening!